Oh, by the way guys, this workout is brought to you by Loot Crate. Our friends there are giving you a discount. Just click on the link in our description. I'll tell you more at the end of this video. It's gonna be great. There's also a really cool theme for this month of February, so stay tuned. Hello everybody, my name is Rainier Pollard and I'm gonna be taking you through the Leg Day Crusher Workout. Now this is gonna be strength training for the lower body. We're gonna to tone, we're gonna to tighten, and we're gonna get that lower body nice and worked. We're gonna start off with a little bit of balance which gets the glutes active, standing tall, driving the knee in, and opening up those hips a little bit. A leg day is definitely one of my favorite days. You burn a lot of calories, even when you're not trying to get your heart rate up, because it's just such a major muscle group. And also, you release a lot of the testosterone, which makes it easier to build muscle, which it makes it better for you because you're gonna burn more calories full body. So who doesn't love all of that? Let's just get two more. Really focus on leaning back as you stand tall and squeezing your glute on your standing leg to help that balance and turn that booty on, huh? Now, we're gonna have ourselves a nice big opener here into a nice slow squat. So we're still warming up, nice active stretch, no need to speed up too much. We're just gonna get a few more here, keeping that chest up and the weight on the heels of your feet as you drop that booty down as low as we can get it. If you stumble a little bit, no problem. When you fall in life, you get right back up, right? Same thing here. Let's just get two more. Big open wide circles and last one. Very nice. Now. I'm gonna take my right leg back, drop my right knee towards the ground, reach my right hand up and lean. Oh, that feels so good all alongside that right hip and left leg back. Good hip opener, get those hip flexors nice and stretched and repeat. Right leg back, right arm overhead, lean. If you can touch the ground with your left hand, kudos, we all like it. Now, I wanna explain this workout is meant for everybody. There are gonna be times where it feels maybe a little harder than we want it to be. If you need to, you drop those dumbbells at that time or go to a lighter weight. We're just gonna get two more. Oh, I'm enjoying this too much. I could make this the entire workout. Drop that knee, right arm overhead. So it's the same hand overhead as the leg that's going back. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's get this workout started. First off, I'm just gonna put some dumbbells in my hand. I'm gonna have my feet about shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna put these dumbbells right on top of my shoulder to help me keep my spine up and nice and long, chest up and out. Now, we're gonna push that butt back like we're sitting down in a chair, and we're gonna get some nice deep squats. And now, for these squats, remember, we are working through strength, and we are not trying to venture too much into an aerobic cardio zone. And the only reason I'm mentioning that is because I'm not saying speed is key. Right now, I want you to focus on that form. Focus on how low you can drop that booty. Right now, I'm having an easy benchmark. You'll see that my elbows are basically touching right about at my knees as a nice little marker. I'm trying to get my hips just a little bit below my knees, but if that's not where you're at right now, no problem. Your goal is to drop it, squeeze that butt, and let those shoulders skyrocket straight up. My feet are still staying just about underneath my shoulders. We're gonna have ourselves a good 12 seconds here. Nothing to it but to do it. This minute long interval is already almost over. Dropping low, squeeze that butt to stand. Drop low, squeeze that butt to stand. One more, one more good one. Nice. Now, I want you to put the feet just a little bit wider. Hands right in front of the pelvis. Chest up and out. Now I want you to try to drop just a little bit lower. Your legs are wider. For most people, this is gonna allow you to be a little bit more flexible. And every single time you stand up, you are squeezing that butt. Now you are gonna hear me say that a lot. Please don't get tired of it because that is the goal of today. We are trying to work the booty. If you were hiding under a rock this year, you may have not noticed that this is the year of the booty. Everybody is out there trying to twerk, 
trying to get that booty a little higher, a little tighter. And we here at Jim Roth have acknowledged that we are gonna help you do the very same. Now, keeping in mind, I'm gonna be really big on what's going on with your upper body, although we are here to work that lower body. You have about 15 seconds remaining with these wide squats getting low to high, just like that. Now, although we are working those legs, your middle back, your upper back, we are going to get that full upper body working as well in that core, just stabilizing and holding itself in the proper position. Now, last one, stay up tall. We're gonna put these right back on the shoulders, feet back to shoulder width apart, and I want you to actually drop as low as you can and come halfway up. Low, halfway up. We're gonna spend just about 30 seconds here. It's not just a pulse. I want you to feel like you're getting a good half of a squat. You're not getting to stand all the way up. I'm showing you what my bottom half of a squat looks like. If yours doesn't look the same, no problem. Remember, we're in the narrow stance, shoulder width apart. You have just 15 seconds. Those quads are gonna start to burn a little bit. Trust me, I understand. I am right there with you. I'm squeezing that booty. I am coming up just a bit. Three, two, stand all the way up now. Halfway down, squeeze that butt. Halfway down, squeeze that butt. Very nice. We're really focusing on getting the glutes to be active. I don't want you to think stand up. I want you to think squeeze my butt. And you're gonna know if you're successful at that because you are gonna almost skyrocket up. The booty is a very powerful muscle group. I don't understand how you do almost any exercise without it being engaged. This is one of my favorite parts of doing lower body, even though I'm not focusing on speed, I'm not focusing on trying to get my heart rate up. Because my legs are such a major muscle group, that blood flow is making my heart rate escalate, and we are burning some calories as we tighten that booty. Now, we're gonna get 10 more seconds here. Nothing to it but to do it. Staying right at shoulder width apart. Three, two, one more, one more, and squeeze, good. Now, we're gonna go back to that wide stance. We're gonna go back to the bottom half of the squat right here in three, two, and getting low. Remember what we said about that upper body, right? We're gonna keep that chest up. We're not gonna let the shoulders fall forward. So we're working that posture, because not only do we wanna have nice shapely legs and a nice active glute, but we wanna make sure we have that positive tall posture getting us through the day. Okay, less than 15 seconds here. I'm really starting to feel this through my quads, through my glutes, so trust me, you are not the only one. If it's getting too hard, you need to drop the dumbbells, no shame in that game. Okay, I told you, I want this workout to be for everybody, so find your level and get there. Stand all the way up now, take it halfway down. But back, squeeze it in. But back, squeeze it in. If you're doing these exercises with a friend, You'll know if they're squeezing their butt because your butt makes like a heart shape every time you squeeze it. So if you're in the room with someone else, give their booty a little glance. Keep them accountable. Make sure that they're squeezing the butt every time that they come up. We're gonna have 30 more seconds here. Just focus through. Hips back, squeeze front. Very nice. Hello, the things we do to look good in skinny jeans. You know what I'm saying? Goodness, people. Less than 15 seconds. Let's move it through, easy. But back, squeeze it up. But back, squeeze it up. Less than 10 seconds. Very nice. Getting your inner thighs here with these legs nice and wide. Three, two, very good job. Stand it up. Shake it out a little bit if you need. Now, you can go to heavier dumbbells that we've been using if you'd like. We're gonna get into some deadlifts. We're gonna focus on the posture as our number one priority here. Push the booty back, but lift your tailbone. Notice how I'm getting really flat in my back. I'm looking down right in, uh, above my toes, squeeze my butt, and I stand up tall. My whole goal is to keep my, my shoulder blades back as I shift forward. Feel that stretch through my hamstrings. Try to connect those hamstrings and squeeze the butt to stand up. I'm gonna give you a lot of time to really adjust this motion and try and get it right, especially as you're hinging forward and pushing that butt back. I want you to take the time to really feel that glute push back. 
and those hamstrings get a little bit of a stretch. And then squeeze the butt. You can really connect, especially to the very top end of the hamstring, and really feel that fire as you stand up tall. Now, if you're one of the people that's at more of an advanced level, and you like to speed up right here, and you know that you can speed up and really keep the weight of this movement on your legs and not let your lower back suffer for it, please feel free. You notice I'm not going really past my knees too much with that range of motion. I wanna keep it as much in those legs and as much out of my lower back as I can. Now for everybody, we're gonna just finish off less than 20 seconds. If you feel the inspiration, you can try to speed up just a little bit as long as you're not suffering form-wise. Very nice, 10 seconds standing up tall. Working the entire posterior here. That's why the deadlifts are so popular. I swear it's the main thing that inspired that bend and snap in Legally Blonde. Those of you that know what I'm talking about, you get extra points. Okay, we're gonna continue on these deadlifts, but I'm gonna put my left toe back and you're gonna notice that just like when both of my legs were down for the deadlift, when I put my left toe back, my right knee has a slight bend as my butt pushed back and came right back forward. So the hip pushes back, the weight is basically all on my right heel or the middle of my right foot. You're gonna push back and stand tall. Notice my hip is right over my knee, but as I hinge forward, my hip is pushing back and my tailbone is rising. They say when you're at the bottom of your deadlift, someone should be able to rest a cup right on your lower back and it wouldn't move. Would it move? That's what we're looking for, nice and flat, y'all. Now, for those of you that are ready to take it to the next level, as I hinge, I'm gonna lift that back toe, one to one ratio. You don't get down there and then lift. As you hinge, I want you lifting that back toe and standing tall, starting to feel a fire. If anybody would like to take it to a full balance, really building that ankle strength, making that right leg work as one unit, please feel free. And what I like to do here is really just check in with your body. Check in with how your balance feels on this leg, right? You're just taking mental notes so as you grow in your fitness, you can track your own project progress. Okay, last moments here. All of this has been on the right leg for anybody that is now wondering when we are gonna switch. The answer is not right now. We're actually gonna stay right on that right leg. Put the left leg back. We're gonna get a full lunge. I wanna see how low you can drop that knee. Low to high, regular split squat. And just like every other activity I've been doing, we're dropping that knee low and keeping the chest up high. Now I'm touching my knee very gently to the ground, but you do not need to take it that low. If you are taking that low, you have to follow my lead with making sure you're getting nice and soft when you get on that contact. Ooh. So it's good to pretend, even if you have a really soft surface under you, if you're letting your knee touch down that low, I want you to pretend it's concrete under there, okay? You are not gonna let your knee just slam down on the concrete, unless you're a little crazy. I'm not here to judge you, okay? Low to high, just like that, y'all. Just a few more, four, three, two, very nice. Now, what we're gonna do, this was my regular lunge. Now I want you to take your left toe, bring it about halfway in, and those dumbbells are gonna go on your shoulders. Now, as you'll see, similar to my deadlift, I'm gonna push my butt back, squeeze and stand up. Notice my right hip is right over my right knee. Sit back, squeeze to stand. Now, we're gonna get a good 40 seconds here, all the way through, back and up. It feels so close to a single leg squat because of that little move, that little adjustment I made in bringing my left foot half that distance forward. Butt is going back to front, you're standing up tall, you're feeling a fire in that right leg. But did we not call this the leg day crusher? I'm not here to lie to you, I'm here to inspire you, okay? So let's get low to high, focus on that right heel, push through, and squeeze that butt. Now, 
In just a few seconds, we're gonna stay down low at that bottom half. We're gonna pulse it and it's gonna burn. We're gonna need to be in this together, okay? Let's get low. We're gonna stay down low on that right leg and it's just the bottom half of the motion. Primarily focusing on that right heel, doing the work, pushing through. Oh, it feels so good. I, can, I know it's working. I know it's working, I feel it. Oh, we're gonna stay down and we're gonna fight. If you can speed it up, feel free. Get down, get down. Less than seven seconds, y'all. Let's move it. Four, three, two. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, right when you thought we were done, we're not. Now take it halfway, squeeze the butt. Halfway, squeeze the butt. Squeeze the butt, let's get it. You know, I'm saving the easiest one for last. You should love me for this. Okay, I could have just saved the hardest interval for last, but no, I like you guys. Let's move through it. Whoa, there it is, there's the fire. You just see my butt push back, squeeze in. Push back, squeeze in. Less than 12 seconds to go. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. We're almost done on this leg. Almost done on this leg. Four, three, two. A very good job. You can shake it out, you can shake it out, but we don't have time to waste. We're gonna go right over to the left leg, which has been relatively resting this entire time. My right toe is back. Same rule with this deadlift. Notice how my butt pushes back, squeeze the stand. My chest is facing down as I push my hip back and I squeeze the stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna give you a lot of um, time with this, just as we did when we started the deadlift with both legs and just as I did when we did the deadlift only on the right leg. You really are trying to push that butt back, feel that stretch through the glute and hamstring and squeeze that butt to come on up. Very nice. Now, we're about to go into that first option we had on the right leg where you can lift that right toe as you're going down. Notice how flat my back is staying. If you have a mirror that you can use and look to the side with, this is a great time to use it. And also, again, check in with that balance. How do you feel on this leg? A little different than the other? Are you trying to use your toes more here? Try not to. Leave those toes on the left foot out of this. It is all about the center of that foot. That's how we're gonna get those glutes and hamstrings to do the um, predominant amount of the work. If you're ready for that advanced level and you wanna stand up tall every time, knee up, nice. Checking in with yourself. Exhale and drive, same rule. You stumble, you get right back up. That's what we call life, y'all. Okay, less than 15 seconds. You might be feeling that um, ankle on the left leg and a little fire, huh? That's good for you, it makes the ankle stronger, I promise. If you're coming out of any kind of ankle injury, these, are, these kind of balance exercises are exactly what you wanna do. Stand tall. And let's finish that left leg by getting into a nice lunge here. So first off, we start full range of motion. My back heel is up. I'm gonna try and drop that right knee within inches of the ground or tap the ground nice and gentle, right? Full range of motion. How low can you go? Getting low to high, really checking in to make sure that that left knee is not going forward of that left ankle. Notice how I'm stacking it right over and not letting that knee go forward of the left toe. Last one here, very nice. So just like we did on the last leg, you're gonna move that right toe about half the distance in, weight on the shoulders, and we are gonna push the butt back and let that left glute do the work as you stand up tall, very close to a single leg squat, going low to high keeping that chest up as we've been doing. Every time I put these weights on my shoulders, I consider it an assistance to keeping your chest up. It's much harder to lean forward when you have these weights reminding you that you have to stay nice and tall, which also engages through our core. So everybody wins. Let's get it, y'all. As I said, focus on that glute. Focus on that left glute, squeezing and rocketing you right up. Now I know it's a little rougher on the second side when you know it's coming at you. But um, I'm sure some of you out there like knowing your destiny, knowing what's coming, so it might make it a little easier for some. Okay, y'all, we're gonna stay down low. 
right at the bottom half. Pulsing low to high. I only made this 30 seconds. Come on now, we can do it together. We're both in it to win it. Oh, that, that feeling, that sensation you have, that's just change settling into the body. Nothing to fight. Let's push through it, y'all. What is this, 10 seconds? That's nothing. 10 seconds, please. It's a blink. It's a blink in this, this wild, quick life of ours. Easy, three, two, and standing up tall. Let's finish it up. Going halfway down, squeeze the butt. Halfway back, squeeze the butt. That's it. That's all I want. Just a little bit longer than we were doing the, bat, the bottom half of these single leg thrusters. Drive it. But back, squeeze. But back, squeeze. Remember, if you're in the room with somebody, keep them accountable. You can give a glance at that booty and say, are you squeezing it? Are you squeezing it? We're all in it. Let's finish off together. Ooh, seven seconds. We got this, y'all. We got this. Finish strong. Four, three, two, and rest it. Nice job, y'all. Oh, let's get ourselves a nice, good stretch. Deep breath up to the sky. Reach high, reach high. And exhale down low. Let those knees bend gently. Again, up, deep breath, and exhale down low. Oh. We're gonna let ourselves hang and we're gonna step one footstep in at a time till the feet are together. I almost just sway in the wind a bit. Let that lower back loosen up. Oh, we put those glutes through a lot. Trying to loosen it up easy. Now, left leg crossover right. We're gonna bring the hands down. You can put your left hand anywhere you'd like. If it goes all the way to the ground, if you need to put it on the shin, feel free. Try and keep the right leg locked as you reach up to the sky, stretching the outside of the leg. Oh, that feels good. If you can put that hand on the ground, please do. And ease low, we'll switch it right over. Right leg crossed over the left. Your right hand is as low as you can get it. You can put it on the shin, you can put it on the ground and reach that left hand high, trying to lock out that left knee. Such a delicious stretch that goes to the outside of the left leg. Such an infamously tight spot. You wanna make sure you're getting a good stretch with that. And of course, little hip flexor stretch. Get a full balance here. I'm grabbing onto the ankle of my left leg, of my left foot with my left hand rather than grabbing onto the foot. Reaching overhead, getting those diagonal slings all through the front of the body. One more on this side. Ooh, you can check into the balance once again. Does it feel a little bit better than during the workout? Okay, y'all. Thank you for joining me for this leg day crusher. You are awesome. I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. As promised, I'm back to tell you more about Loot Crate's February offer. So the theme is dead. You can expect to find exclusive apparel from The Walking Dead, Deadpool, and Harry Potter, which we think is pretty cool. And they're actually offering the Level Up Crate, which is a new subscription. You get three choices. You can choose socks, accessories, or apparel, shirts, right? So we here at Jimbo are gonna choose socks because we wear them a lot when we work out, but I'm sure you'll find something you love. You better order before February 19th because that's the last day. If you look in our description, there's a link there. All you have to do is click on it, enter the promo code Jimra, and you'll get your 10% discount. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your purchase, and we hope you have a great day. See you next time.